Hi guys, welcome to my very first sit down video with my new camera. Hopefully everything is set exactly the way it needs to be and everything goes good. to make for a long time. I was having a really hard time of trying to figure out how I wanted to say a few things so I went to Instagram and I asked you guys what is the best thing about having a horse and what is the hardest thing about having a horse and you guys delivered so many amazing answers and reading through them I was able to figure out exactly what I felt inside about what I think are the five best things about having a horse and the five hardest things about having a horse. So let's just jump into this video. I'm gonna start with the negative first. Get that out of the way because as you guys know, there are some hardships about having a horse. I'm gonna start at number five and tell you the least hard thing about having a horse and work my way up to number one. The one, number one, hardest part of having a horse. Okay, number five hardest thing about having your own horse is the worry. Worrying about if they're getting enough food, if they're warm enough, if you're riding them properly, if you're riding enough to maintain their muscle tone. There are just so many ifs in the horse world and be because we're beginner horse owners and leasers and because I'm a new rider, they're just, my worries are tripled, I think. I think eventually over time, I'll relax more and trust everything and, um, worry less but for right now number five on my list is the worry number four because it's winter time and we live in Ontario Canada it, and we are dealing right now currently with extreme weather conditions meaning it is minus 40 below and it is so insanely cold outside um, we are not able to ride our horse we're hardly able to go there and see our horse because just to walk down to the barn in extreme weather conditions, you're frozen by the time you get there. Another thing about the cold weather for us is dealing with water issues. As you guys, some if you guys have been following our journey to getting our first horse, then you'll know that at our barn, um, they do not have enough power down by the fields to put heated water troughs in. So unfortunately, people are having to go around the clock to our barn and crack the ice with a hammer and scoop it all out so that our horses have water to drink. Um, people go and do it and within an hour it's frozen solid again. Our horses are used to it because they are in, they've been on Ontario, Canada. They know what winter's like. They do eat the snow. It's definitely not enough for them, but that's one of the big drawbacks at having a horse in winter time. When we got our horse, we had, a, when we got our horse, we actually, thought about how stressful it was going to be in winter time, but I did not know the full extent of how hard it was going to be to have a horse in winter time. Our stress level has gone up dramatically. We've had to run out and buy another blanket for her. We um, are always constantly worried about the water issue because some of you guys know Sabrina Colic soon after we got her when the weather changed and she she stopped drinking water for a few hours because the water because it was a sudden drop in temperature so the what the winter weather has been one of the worst things for us in terms of having our own horse number three number three and one of the hardships for us in having a horse is that we have to share there are three of us and only one horse and that is a huge hardship uh, Sophia, because there's so much work involved right now, I mean to put snow pants on, take them off, put boots on, put riding boots on, go down and get the horse in the winter. It's just all a hundred times harder than it's ever been before. So her interest level in riding has decreased a ton and that's okay because then Gabby and I share um, a little more. But three people, one horse is a massive hardship. Number two hardship for us in having our own horse is that we have less riding time. And again, it's connected with the weather. For right now, our riding time has decreased drastically because of the weather. We can't ride our horse in extreme weather because just like people, um, their lungs burn from that kind of cold weather. So imagine running through frigid temperatures. We, we wouldn't do it, so we don't expect our horse to do it. So um, she's just sitting in a stall half the time and in the field for a short amount of time. 
She is on, she's currently on a um, winter routine, which means they go out later in the morning when the sun comes up and it's starting to warm up and they go into their stall earlier at night before the sun goes down, before the temperature really plummets. So many people on Instagram said the exact same thing. The number one hardship of having a horse is the expense. Probably you guys were um, guessing that, but so many people of you guys said the same thing. The expense incurred it is not finite, so it never just you never just pay a price and then you're done paying. It just goes on and on and on. It's just like children when you have a horse. They never, there's never comes a time when you're done buying things for them, things to care for them, paying for bills, paying for vet bills, upkeep, um, wormings, then the farrier comes. It's just an ongoing budget. It never ends. So that is our number one hardship in owning a heart. So now all that's done, I want to share with you guys the five most amazing things that happened to us when we got our first horse. I'm going from least to most amazing. Um, number five is that having our first horse has brought us together as a family in a way that I could never even have imagined. My husband Sam doesn't ride and yet he always goes to the barn with us. He spends time with us. He spends time bonding with our horse. Um, the girl, because the girls and I share Sabrina, we all have so much to talk about after we've been to the barn. We can share what we, what our dreams are for her in the future, what we learned in our lessons, just the family togetherness and the bonding over having our first horse has been incredible. As well, if you've been following our videos, you know that We've been helping out a lot at the barn lately and we do it together as a family. So when um, it's our turn to do chores, we all go together as a family and we bring all the horses in and it is the warmest, most amazing feeling to be with all of your children, well, to be with your kids and your husband working together for the greater good of all of the horses at the barn. It's just amazing. The together family time has been just incredible. Number four, this is something I was not expecting in the least, but having our own horse has caused me to get into better shape. Not just because of riding and learning lessons, but honestly, all the walking down to the barn and walking back up to the arena and the caring for the horses. When we go and turn horses in at night, it takes us a couple of hours and by the time we come home, it's supper time and I'm like, <laughs> I just worked out for two hours. I just don't have time to eat. I just don't, I don't have as much time to eat and I just don't feel like eating as much. So I noticed that things are fitting me better. I feel better. I um, have noticed a definite weight loss and that is one massive perk for having your own horse. But the third huge benefit for us on getting our first horse is something that I did suspect and I mentioned it in a lot of our vlogs, accelerated horse learning. So basically, um, we are uh, we are in the process of looking for a farm. In the winter time, there are hardly any houses on the market where we live just because winter shuts down. A lot of things in Ontario it is so cold right now that nobody wants to go out looking for houses. So we will resume our search for our farm this spring and I feel confident that by the summer we'll have found something. We will not be able to move a horse to our farm until we're ready, until we feel confident that we can take care of a horse and provide everything that it needs. So we have been in the process of wanting to learn and having our own horse has put us in a position that has accelerated the learning process for us. I have literally learned so much about the health of a horse, how to treat a horse um, for colic. I've learned what the signs to look for uh, um, when your horse is not well. I've learned how to feed horses, how to water horses, how to care for a barn, how to take horses in, put them out, what they need. I mean, I can, the list is long, you guys. I've learned so much. We still have a long way to go, but I, um, before we had a horse, the opportunity to learn all this stuff was so restricted. But now that we have Sabrina, um, it created a situation where we have accelerated our learning process. The second most positive thing about having a horse for us has two parts. Part one is that we have more opportunity to ride. I know in the hardships I said we have less opportunity to ride, but that's just because it's winter. But um, when there's not an extreme winter weather warning in effect, we are able to ride our horse so much more than one lesson a week. One lesson a week 
Um, it really doesn't give you the opportunity to practice all the things that you've learned in lesson, but because we have our own horse and we can ride unlimited amount of times and that has really helped all of us. The second part of that is that it, having our own horse has created a social environment for our kids that wasn't there before. Because we're spending so much more time at the barn, we're able to set up a lot of play dates at the barn, we're able to hang out with the girls that live there and they all have horses now. So they're able to ride with friends and spend so much time with their peers and the peers that are interested in the same things that they are. They're all the same age, they all love horses, they all love schleich. It's really been amazing. Some of you guys know our kids are homeschooled and they do have play dates with other friends and they do have other social situations that they can with cousins and family, but it's not the same. Being in a group with uh, peers that are into the same things as you really can make a huge difference. So that's been the second, so that's been a really a positive thing for us. The very number one thing, benefit for us for having a horse is something that I really had a hard time putting into words. And I went to Instagram and someone on Instagram, I'll put the little screenshot of her comment here so that you guys can see what she said, but she really put it into perspective for me. The biggest advantage to having a horse for me that was totally unexpected was how much I've grown as a person and how much more understanding and aware I've become. Before we got Sabrina, I had no idea the depth of emotion that I would feel for a horse and the depth of emotion that she feels. I feel like sometimes I'm hypersensitive to her needs and her, her wants and um, sometimes that causes problems because I feel bad sometimes that I'm riding her when maybe she doesn't want to be ridden. Um, but yeah, just being able to connect emotionally with Sabrina has been a life changer for me and I can't imagine my life now without her or without a horse. I know she's just a lease horse and she's gonna have to leave one day and I don't even know how that's gonna happen because we care for her so much and because she's brought us together as a family in so many ways and she is such a huge part of our heart and a part, okay, I gotta stop talking about it now because I'm just getting too emotional because yeah. So anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'm super excited to make more videos like this for you. If you have any requests, please send them to me either in the comments below or on any of our social media platforms. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.